can't operate it. All right. Well, so now we're going to put the work coil. By the way, if you look, there's the quarter. Okay. So now, we got to mount it up here. I have a special jig I made that allows me to accurately wind those loops. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So how many joules is this discharge again? I forgot. Well, I think I'm gonna we're gonna do an eight thousand joule shot here. Oh, max twenty four thousand. So what happens if you did twenty four thousand through a quarter? Well, I found out if you try to go, I tried an eleven thousand joule shot, and I compared it to Bert Hickman's results. And it wasn't any smaller. So what we think is going on is the coil is disintegrating mm. way before, you know, much beyond about 8,000 joules can get into it. So what I want to try at some time is a beefier coil. Thicker wire? Yeah, for that. So is that about 12 gauge wire? It's 13 gauge 13. magnet wire. Okay, we're all mounted up. In fact, you can see here, i got some pieces of copper fragments embedded in the steel. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. I really need to make a checklist so I don't forget anything. <laughs> if I don't put these rods in, it'll blow the lid off. Those are the cadmium control rods that <laughs> control the nuclear reaction, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't assert them too fast. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and take this off. Now, now I need to cock the spark gap. So all I do is this. So now, when I pull this lanyard, that moving electrode will slam to within half a millimeter of that stationary electrode. It won't touch, really, because it'll weld if it touch. But it's so precise. In fact, I'll show you. Like if you look side up, if you look down the top, you can see a gap. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's cock it. See how cock. So is this all your design, or did you find other stuff you just kind of went well, off of and said? I looked at every shrinker I could find on the internet, and there's less than 10. I looked at all the pictures and people's websites, and I could have kind of took what I thought they were their best ideas and incorporated them all into yeah. mine. What I do with my Right there. Oh, really? Yeah, this is the charging voltage. Okay, let me see what uh, 8,000 joules is. Make it about 13,000 volts. That's 8,500 joules. How far back do I need to stand from this thing? <laughs> this is fine. It's mostly noise. Matter of fact, something you can watch from right here. Watch the uh, spark gaps. It'll we'll right. go off like well, a flashbulb. I'll stand over here and see if we can get it on film. How long will it take to charge the cap? Okay. See the charging going up now. On the left. And you're going to 13,000 volts? Yeah. You only want to back off just a little bit. Just <laughs> Wise. Fire in the hole? 